Hi, third grade. Okay, so we're going to review your snow day packet number four. So if you don't have that available, um, go get it quick. Um, first thing on the, on the title page was write a personal narrative that has to do with snow. Remember, personal narratives are true stories about you. Okay, so I want a true story about you and dealing with some type of snow activity. Religion, tell everyone in your family, even your pets, one thing you love about them. Okay, and then once that's done, we can go to our simple solutions um, page. Number one says, add the missing letters O-I or O-Y for the vowel sound. So boy, O-Y, spoil, O-I. Number two, underline the silent letter combinations in each word. Wrong, W-R, and need, K-N. Three, underline the letters that make the shun sound. So education, T-I-O-N, and concession, S-I-O-N. Number four, add the missing letters O-I or O-Y for the vowel sound. So oink, O-I, and cowboy, O-Y. In the answer box, write the meaning of the underlined word. Don't be wasteful and use every scrap of paper. So wasteful is the word that we need to define. And if you look, it has the suffix F-U-L. And if you remember, we talked about F-U-L and it means full of. So wasteful would mean full of waste. And then number six, you might have had a little difficulty with this one because we did not do this um, prefix, or yeah, this prefix before. So write the prefix that means remove or reverse. It would be D, like D-E, like defrost or dehumidifier. Number seven, write the word that means wash again, rewash, because we have learned that the prefix re means again. And number eight, write the word that means soak before, pre-soak. We've also learned that pre, this, the suffix pre, means before. Number nine, draw a line to separate the word into syllables. So jabber would be between the two Bs. So G-A-B hyphen or slash, whichever you like, B-E-R. Okay, that's that vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, and you split between the consonants. Number 10, choose the word to complete the sentence. Write it in the space provided, then draw the box around the VCCV pattern. We must stop the cut from bleeding immediately. And in the box should be I-M-M-E. Okay, that's your vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern. Number 11, draw a line to separate the word into syllables between the long vowel and the consonant in the VCV pattern. So remember, we've talked about the VCV pattern. And if the first V is long, you split it right after the vowel. So in paper, you would split P-A hyphen P-E-R. And number 12, draw a line to separate the word into syllables. So wallow would be W-A-L hyphen L-O-W. So right between those two consonants. All right, next is our dictionary guide words. Okay, so in our first box, we have cagier and calculation. So in this box, now remember, these don't have to be in alphabetical order. If you did do them in alph alphabetical order, kudos to you guys, okay? Um, if you did, that's fine too. Kudos to you for getting all these words, okay? So first box, cagier and calculation. So we have calcium, calamity, cake, calculating, cajoling, cajole, cajoled, cagiest, calculate, and calculated. Now they can be in any order whatsoever. So if you didn't have them in the same as I did, that's fine, as long as you have all the words. So we have in the middle um, box here, we have calmer and camera. So cameoing, camaraderie, camera, calmest, cameoed, came, cam, sorry, cam, calmness, cav, cameo, and came. Last box. Candied and canker. So we have cane, candle, canistering, candled, candling, canistered, canister, candlestick, canned, and canning. All right. And the next one we have complete and simple subjects. Okay. So remember, complete subject is the entire subject. So what um, is the sentence about? So what or who the sentence is about? 
When you find the simple subject, it's the noun within just the subject. So number one, my uncle talked about his vacation. My uncle should be underlined, it is the complete subject. And uncle should be written on the line, that is the simple subject. Number two, my hungry puppy wanted more food. My hungry puppy should be underlined, puppy should be written on the line. Number three, the big spider spun a huge web. The big spider should be underlined, spider should be written on the line. Number four, the pretty lady walked very fast. The pretty lady should be underlined, lady should be written on the line. Number five, our team won the game. Our team should be underlined, team should be written on the line. Number six, many stars twinkle brightly at night. Many stars should be underlined and stars should be written on the line. For seven and eight, you needed to um, unscramble those words. They're all scrambled up to find the subject and you gotta put them all together to have a correctly written subject. So you should have written for number seven, the ice cream store is open from 10 until four. Number eight, the small blue box looked mysterious. Okay, and then it was on to your math maze. I'm going to show you the answers. I highlighted the path. And you can actually pause this. And you can check your math paper. Okay, so that's that. On to Chikatin Ponies. Okay, we're going to do the comprehension section first. Okay, so number one. This article is about C, a special breed of horse found in Virginia. Number two, according to the article, all of the following statements are true of Chickating ponies, except C, their descendants came from a shipwreck. Number three, the author probably believes that Chickating ponies, B, are an interesting breed of horse. Number four, horses that are rounded up for auction live in a, Virginia. Number five, the last step mentioned in the pony swim is C, the return of the unsold ponies to their preserve. Number six, the origin of the first Chickatink ponies, C, is not known. Number seven, a good way to summarize paragraph 13 is A, Misty is a well-known pony of Chickatee because a book was written about her. Number eight, the ponies of Chickatee, um, C, both A and B have an interesting history and are an important source of money for Chickatee Island. Okay, down to learn about words. So we needed to find a word that matches um, the meaning here. So number one is stretched from paragraph one and you will find craned. Number two, on to dry land, paragraph four, Ashore. Number three, operated. Paragraph six, managed. Number four, money or income. Paragraph 10, revenue. Number five, a sailing ship. From paragraph 11, galleon. Number six, tame, not wild. Paragraph 12 would be domestic. Number seven, famous, well-known, from paragraph 13, renowned. And number eight, brief view, paragraph 13, glimpse. All right, so for the next part in part B, we needed to look at the paragraph and see how the word in bold type is used. And then you got to decide A, B, or C um, would be the right, correct definition. So... Number nine is preserve from paragraph six, and that means A, wildlife reserve or sanctuary. Number 10, channel from paragraph seven, is B, narrow waterway. Okay, on to part C here. We need to add LY or NESS to each word to make it match the definition. So if you read those paragraphs before that, those directions, you will notice that it tells you what L-Y and N-E-S-S mean. So L-Y means in a certain way or like. The suffix N-E-S-S means in the state of or quality of. So number 11, we need um, a word that means like a mother. So you would say motherly um, and just adding the L-Y to the end. Number 12, 
quality of being glad, gladness. 13, quality of being soft, softness. Number 14, in a harsh way, harshly. 15, in the state of being dark, darkness. 16, like a saint, saintly. Number 17, in a sharp way, sharply. Number 18, state of being shy, shyness. All right, our last section, part D, we need to read the facts in each example below. If the conclusion is correct, write yes. If the conclusion is incorrect, write no. All right, so number 19, everyone in my class uses a computer. My sister is not in my class. Conclusion, my sister does not use a computer. No. Number 20, all dogs have four legs. Spot has four legs. Conclusion, Spot is a dog. No. Number 21. On holidays, we always have a big family dinner. Today is Thanksgiving. Conclusion, we will have a big family dinner. Yes. 22. I know how to drive a car. My father owns a car. Conclusion, I am allowed to drive a car. No. 23. My birthday is May 11th. I always get money for my birthday. Conclusion, I will get money on May 11th. Yes. 24. I like sausage and onions. My sister likes sausage, sausage and onions. Conclusion. My sister and I should order a pizza with sausage and onions. No. 25. My aunt is coming to dinner. My uncle is coming to dinner. Conclusion. My aunt and uncle will arrive at the same time. Yes. Okay. So that's that. Um, if you have any questions on our snow day packet four, please email me, okay, with anything, questions, concerns, um, whatever you need, please email me. I am available at all times. All right, guys, have a nice day.